Howdy, y'all. It's Pastor Bobby coming to you with the weekly word from Holy Ghost Lutheran Church. Today is actually Tuesday. I'm filming this uh, the day before uh, the weekly word comes out. So today is the 13th of July. So tomorrow will be the 14th. So welcome to the 14th uh, of July when you're actually going to be viewing this. I, uh, I'm viewing it or videoing it, video, videoing it today uh, just because uh, I just uh, came in a little bit ago after helping out with what we call now the Band of Brothers. And it's a, a group that gets together once a month and uh, we do some chores around here at the church, some badly needed types of things that uh, uh, just uh, help out. We've got a, a large campus and it takes a, a lot of energy and effort to do that. We, we start off the day, it's always on the second uh, Tuesday of the month from 8 to 11. Start off with some taco, breakfast tacos, uh, devotion, and uh, then we, we get after it for as long as you, you can. So for retired, semi-retired people, men uh, with flexible schedules, come on out and join us sometimes on the second Tuesdays from 8 till 11 or whenever you can. Uh, I decided to, to come to you like this today and uh, this special emphasis upon the fact that I got to rub elbows uh, with some other guys today as uh, we were shoveling lots of dirt and rocks that were going to be hauled off. We had a project going on here and uh, we need some, needed some cleanup to happen, so we got to do that. I was just uh, reminded as I was out there breaking a sweat uh, with the guys, putting in some of that sweat equity uh, here in the church, that um, uh, we gather together and, and we, we come from a variety of, uh, well, vocations, uh, places where we make contact uh, with the world. And it just reminded me that, that uh, ministers uh, can look like this and dress like this because we are all called to a ministry, uh, not just reverends, not just ones who have uh, the sheepskin on the wall that declares that we've been to divinity school. But the Bible says it this way, 1 Peter chapter 2, starting with verse 9, ending with 10. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are a people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. I love that part in there where it says that you're a, a chosen people, a royal priesthood. There it is right there, priesthood. Uh, ministers in God's eyes are every single one of us. Uh, we are called by God to, to be his priests. And the word priest literally means bridge builder. Uh, we are in the business of, of connecting people in need with a God of grace and mercy. Uh, we're bridges. That's what a priest is. And uh, of course, in the Bible, a priest is one that connected the people with God. But of course, we don't have to have a priest to connect us with God because Christ is the ultimate priest. But we are, are called to be little Christs, believe that or not. And so we are little bridges. He's the big bridge. We're the little bridges. But we bring people uh, to Christ. And so no matter what our vocation, uh, not just pastors, but no matter what our vocation, we can help connect people in need with a God who has grace and mercy and resources. So whether you're a plumber, an electrician, uh, whether you carry a shovel around, whether you're a doctor, a nurse, an attorney, a, a, a public official, you work for the city or for the county, whether you're a, a stay-home mom, stay-home dad, uh, retired, an administrator, a school teacher, you know, the list goes on and on and on. A, a, an engineer, a, a bookkeeper, a CPA, a firefighter, a policeman, policewoman. Uh, no matter what our vocation is, that is our ministry platform to find places to be the bridge, to, to connect. And so uh, it's not just about wearing the collar. Uh, it's about wearing our faith. And it's about us... Uh, no matter what place we work, it's seeing that as a place of ministry. 
Uh, so may God open our eyes to those places in our lives. Uh, again, whether that is in the public or whether that's in the home with your family, as you take care of kids or grandkids, uh, whatever we do, uh, wherever we are, the opportunity for us to build the bridges with our faith between people in need and uh, somebody just to, to hear a word of hope uh, from a God and in a God who will provide for our needs. With that said, let's pray. God of grace and God of glory, we come before you and we thank you that you have orchestrated us, uh, Lord, just uh, like, a, like, an, like an orchestra, as a matter of fact. We all play different instruments, different roles. But Lord, uh, we all come before you and we all have an opportunity to present you, to be light unto others. So particularly, oh God, where people may be walking in darkness and struggling with light, with light, help us to be that light that might just shed a little bit of hope and strength. So help us to see also that, that whatever our vocation is, that is our platform and opportunity to build that bridge between you and others. So help us to see ourselves as ministers. We thank you, God, for the gift of pastors, but uh, it, it can't uh, depend upon them. The ministry can't depend solely upon them. But Lord, you've made us all to be ministers. So help us to take up that calling and to follow you. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, one, I was on a community call earlier this week, and uh, COVID cases are up in our community. And that new strain, the Delta strain, is out, and it is here uh, in our county as well. So the hospital is encouraging extra precautions. If you have not gotten that vaccine, please get it. Please get it. It impacts the lives of so many people. And it's not just a, a, about us as individuals. It's about us in terms of, of how we impact uh, the neighbors around us. And so uh, our decisions are, well, involve more than just ourselves. So please, please, please consider if you haven't gotten a vaccine, you can still call any of the pharmacies here in town, HEB, Walgreens, Walmart. Those are free, F-R-E-E. -E. Uh, so that's a, a low cost to, pray, uh, to pay a shot in the arm. Uh, for the care of our community. So please consider that. We're also considering if you are not vaccinated, the hospital is suggesting, asking that you do wear a mask and stay six feet away from other people. And so uh, please, please, please uh, try to, to uh, listen to our officials from the hospital and their best advice us moving forward. As far as the church is here, goodness gracious, We've got VBS coming up. That's the first week in August. So we encourage you to call the church office, 997-2288. Uh, sign up for Vacation Bible School. It'll again be in the evenings, five days, uh, starting on August the 2nd, running through the 6th. So we look forward to ministering to our community and, and offering the Vacation Bible School program. Worship services are on Sunday. Uh, you can join us on live stream that's on Facebook or YouTube. Uh, we encourage you to come in person if you'd like to. So we have services at 6 on Saturday evening, 8 o'clock and 1030 on Sunday morning. We have adult classes during the summer at 915. Uh, we uh, have uh, uh, kids Sunday schools uh, that we're not offering uh, now, but that will generate and start again on August the 16th, if I'm not mistaken. So that's, a, or 15th, that's just around the corner. That's all in the way of announcements. We pray that God will bless you in the week. May Almighty God be above you to watch over you, beside you to guide you, underneath you to uphold you, within you to grant you His peace, now and always. Amen.